Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain how we can use iframes to embed web pages and other documents within your website. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, welcome back, iframes. The iframe element is used to embed content from another source into an HTML document. They're commonly used for advertisements and they're easily abused with many hacking techniques. So basically using an iframe, we can embed another web page within our web page, or we could embed our current HTML document with another HTML document. Here's how we can create an iframe. This is a self-closing tag, and we set the source equal to, this can be an external website, such as a URL, or we can place a relative file path to a file of our choosing. So this doesn't work with many websites, and I'll demonstrate that. So let's set the source equal to google.com and then save and reload. So google.com refused to connect. That's because a lot of major websites have disabled the use of iframes. Since we're embedding another web page within our web page, a common hacking technique is that you can have this embedded web page take up the entire frame of your HTML document. Your website could pose as another website and that could be considered dangerous. Let's say that you embed a banking website like Bank of America. So if somebody visits your website, it's actually a facade and somebody will type in their banking information like their login credentials, and you could capture that. So a lot of major websites have disabled the use of iframes, so you cannot pose as their website. One website that I checked that does work is Bing. So let's switch our URL to that. Save and reload. Yeah, see, we have embedded the home page of Bing, uh, but let's change the width and height attributes because this is fairly small. Let's say the width is 750 pixels, and for the height, let's say maybe 250. So save and reload. Cool, yeah, we have embedded Bing within our web page, and you can use this normally. Bro code. Now let's embed another document. So let's create a new file. Let's pretend that this is an advertisement we would like to display within our web page. I'll name this ad.html. So if you're using VS Code to generate an HTML document, a plain one, type exclamation point, then hit tab. So let's say something. I'll use an h1 header tag. This is an advertisement. And then close it. Uh, let's change the background color too, using the style attribute and I will pick the background color property and set this to maybe, I don't know, that color. Uh, then let's change the width and height. Uh, for the height, maybe 100. Oh, then make sure to change your source as well. So we need to list the relative file path. Since these files are right next to each other, I only have to list the file name. Add.html, save, reload. Cool, and there is my fake advertisement. Embedded pages do have a border. This is how to remove that. Set the style attribute equal to the border CSS property and set this to zero. So I'm going to save, reload, and this no longer has that border. So yeah, everybody, those are iframes. They're used to embed content from another source into an HTML document. They're useful for advertisements, and they're easily abused with a lot of hacking techniques. So yeah, those are iframes. If you learned something new, be sure to smash that like button, drop a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.